In this video, I'm going to show you what we could say is a programming trick in C to make arrays assignable. So in C, static arrays are not assignable. So we can declare a car array called product code A of length 10 and assign to this array the string 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this here, where we're initializing this array with these values here, is allowed. We can do this. But if I did have car product code B of length 10, I couldn't assign to this array here the value in this array here. So if I have product code B is equal to product code A, this is not allowed in C because arrays are not assignable. What I probably want to have happen is this string here to be copied into this array here. But if we try this out and compile the program here, we'll get the error that this array type is not assignable. So we just can't do this. But there is a bit of a workaround for this. What we could do is wrap the array in a struct because structs in C are assignable. So for example, we could have here type def struct and then car product code 10 as a member and we'll call this product. Then down here we could have product A and we could assign to this struct for the member product code this string. Then we could make a product B struct like this and then we could assign A to B and this will work because structs in C are assignable. And this will cause this string here that's stored in the product code member of this struct to be copied into the product code member of this struct here, B. We could open that here. We could have printf and then percent %s to put a string followed by a new line and then b.productCode to put the B structs product code member. And we can save this. And now the program will compile. We can run it and we'll see that string was assigned to that structs product code member. So for the most part, we wouldn't want to use this as a workaround for being able to assign static arrays in C. Because it doesn't follow the expected behavior in C, it could lead to confusion when other people read our code. It would make our code less readable. Now there are situations though where we have structs and those structs have arrays that have a fixed length and we're okay with that because the values in those arrays are known to be of a particular length or maybe there's an upper bound on the length of the content that's going to be stored in those arrays so for example, maybe for a product here, we have a product code, which we know is only going to have a length of nine plus one more for the null terminator. And maybe we also have barcodes and we could have an array for that for storing the barcode. And we know that a barcode is only going to be of length 12 plus one more for the null terminator in terms of the length of the string. And therefore we're okay with the fact that this struct has these fixed length arrays. And we're not doing this because it's a workaround. We're doing this because these are the records that we're trying to store and work with. But we could say this is a bit of a programming trick for making static arrays assignable in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.